it's been decided that we're going out. What? What do you mean? Oh, and you know, I don't need you starting today. Thanks for everything. Since we got on track, I'm fine on my own now. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? So, why are you looking for a job? I thought you started your own business. Actually, I got fired. Fired? But it's your company, right? My name's Masanari Saito, and I'm 25 years old. I started my own company with my senpai in college, Joji Takahashi. And now, I'm working as a fashion designer. The company's still small in the fashion industry, but it's a very attractive company. The idea of our company first popped up at a drinking party in a bar. I feel like I can do anything with you. Why don't we start a business together? Huh? What's gotten into you all of a sudden? When we were college students, we had a similar interest in clothes. And we got along so well that it was hard to believe that he was my senpai. We went out for drinks every week and talked about our interest in clothes. No, I've actually been thinking about it for a long time. Your design ideas are great. There's nothing like that anywhere. But, but starting up a company is... Don't worry, that's why I'm here. I'm a bit worried, but I feel like I can do this with Joji-kun. And so, we started up a clothing company at the same time when Joji-kun graduated from college. After that, I also graduated college and started focusing on running our company. My dream was to have my own brand in the first place, and I had studied business administration for this. So, for a while, I focused on running our business and not so much on designs. I guess that's all I have to hand over for now. Well then, I look forward to working with you from now on. Yes, me too. Please, leave it to me. As a company, we initially sold our products only online, but we decided to open a store in the end. I was the store manager there for a while. And today, I stepped down as the store manager and left it to my subordinate. It was tough being the store manager, but it's nice to be able to see our customers' faces and sell the clothes directly to them. I'd like to visit the store again, when I have time. See? I told you that if it's us, it'll all go well, right? Yeah. I really wasn't sure about it at first, but... Yeah, that's all thanks to George as well. George is an acquaintance of my parents, and he's a business manager based overseas. I used to consult him a lot until our business got on track. Hmm? What's wrong? Speak of the devil, it's from George. Hey, Masa, how's it going? Hey, George, it's going well. It's all because you gave us great tips and advice for our business. Thank you so much. George and I still keep in touch, and we're good friends. George is back in the US right now, so I'm going to treat him to sushi when he comes to Japan. I wasn't sure what would happen when we started up our business, but we finally got on track and settling in. Hello? What's up? It's rare of you to call me on a weekday like this. No, I just wanted to hear your voice. What? <laughs> You're a weirdo. This person who I called over the phone is my girlfriend, Urara Shimada. We met through a mutual friend while in college, and we're still going out even after three years. I haven't seen her for a while because I've been busy with work, and I've made her feel lonely. But she's a wonderful girlfriend who always supports me. So, what's going on? I finally handed over the store manager's position to my subordinate today. And now that things have settled down, I thought we could have dinner together for the first time in a while. Ooh, that's great. Let's go. I've been busy lately, so I'm excited to see her. Besides, it's time for us to seriously think about our relationship. Urara has believed in me and supported me ever since I started the company. I'm sure I can be happy with her in the future. Now that the company is stable, I was thinking of proposing to her, but... What? Why is Joji-kun here? It seems like I lost my voice. It's been decided that we're going out. What? what do you mean? Because Joji-kun is way richer than you, Masanari. What's going on? Because Joji-kun's family is... Oh, and you know, I don't need you starting today. Thanks for everything. 
Since we got on track, I'm fine on my own now. <laughs> huh? What do you mean? It means you're fired. You don't have to come to work starting tomorrow. I'll mail your stuff, so you better thank me, okay? <laughs> hey, Joji! Let's just go already! Okay, well, see ya. Thanks for giving me a cute girlfriend and a great company. I was just at a loss for words at what was happening all of a sudden. Too many things have happened that my mind is about to go crazy. After that, for a few days, I felt completely empty and didn't feel like doing anything at all. There's no point in dwelling on it forever. What's done is done. I have to find a new job. Unable to give up on my dream, I started looking for a job in the clothing industry again. But... <sighs> my job application got rejected again. If this continues, what am I gonna do? Hmm? A phone call? Yes, hello? Hello, good day. I'm the recruiter for XX Corporation. Yes, yes, thank you very much. I did it! They accepted my job application, and it's from that major company, XX Corporation. All right, I'll do it. Out of all the ones I had applied to, I didn't expect to get a call from the biggest company. I immediately set a date for the job interview and did my best to prepare for it. Yes, do come in. Please excuse me, huh? This person is... she looks more mature, but don't tell me that she's... You're Fuji-san, right? Yes, I am. It was you after all, huh? I was afraid to ask to become the job interviewer. Huh? What do you mean? Fuji-san apparently heard about my job application and stepped forward to be the job interviewer this time. It's good to see you again like this. She looks at me with a dignified expression. That expression hadn't changed, even now that she's an adult. We were classmates in high school. And as for club activity, we were both in the fashion club. We both had dreams of becoming fashion designers, and we worked hard to achieve our dreams. We haven't talked like this since our high school festival? <laughs> You're right. She and I were so serious that we had a dispute over the direction of the fashion show that we were going to present at the festival. And after that, we didn't talk at all, even after graduating high school. I heard you went on to specialize in design after graduation, but I had no idea that you were working for such a major company. I knew you were amazing. Uh, th this is my parents' company. So, why are you looking for a job? I thought you started your own business. I wish you didn't know about that. Actually, I got fired. Although I didn't agree with her on some points, I respected her. I learned a lot from her. Not only as a designer, but also in terms of having the desire to improve oneself. So that's why I didn't want to tell her about what happened. Fired? But it's your company, right? Yeah, it was. So I ended up telling her about what happened until now. I see. But maybe it was a good thing. Hey, Saitoko, I have a proposal. As usual, your designs are complete opposite of mine. You're so laid back, yet you draw powerful designs. Thanks. Your designs are really delicate, too, and I can't help but admire them. The proposal I received was that after joining the company, we'd compete with each other and come up with a new design once a week. To me, it was a great proposal, but I was apprehensive about what the senpai employees would think. But, unexpectedly, everyone accepted the idea. Fujisan always had charisma, but I never expected it to go this far. <laughs> what? What's so funny? No, back in the day, you used to deny all my designs, saying they were too eccentric. But it was refreshing to hear you compliment me like that. Well, I do change too, you know. After graduating from vocational school, I went to study abroad and I realized something. I realized that there are many people as there are designs. It was immature of me to look down at your designs. I learned that when I saw the world. Is that so? I'm kind of happy to be able to raise each other up like this with someone I respect. That's why I propose that. Because you can create designs that I can't create. With you, I can aim even higher. Besides, you're the only man who could beat me. Beat you? Don't tell me you've forgotten about our match. 
Our match? Fuji-san and I had a match? Oh. Do you remember? The one who launches his own brand first wins? We talked about that in high school. Did you forget about it? Yeah, we did, but I got fired in the end anyways. But still, you had your own brand at least. Be more confident. Next time, let's make this brand successful together. She's right. I can't just stay and be discouraged. So afterwards, we both began to work hard and create many designs. Then one day, I received a phone call. Hello? It's been a while. I saw the magazine. I didn't know that you're the main designer of that brand. I knew it. You really are amazing. Yeah, I met an amazing person after you guys betrayed me. That's... I'm really sorry. Hey, why don't we get back together again? The magazine that Urara saw must have been a famous fashion magazine. Actually, Fujisan had proposed two plans. One was to start a new brand, although it'll be a subsidiary of the current company. It's a reassuring to have someone with experience in business management. If you don't mind that it's me, but is that really okay? What about the CEO? I've already gotten the approval from our CEO. The CEO was a bit angry though. Fujisan and my brand is based on a single theme that attracts different kinds of designs. It became famous for its playful designs and received magazine coverage about it, which spread among the younger generation. Hey, I feel like we can make it work now. That's impossible. I'm having too much fun at work right now, and I don't have time for my love life. And I have no intention of getting back together with you when you were the one who betrayed me in the first place. I can support you even more now than before. Nah, don't worry about it. You know, I married joji -kun after that. But he tricked me. joji -kun's family wasn't rich. He had a lot of debts, but he gambled on and he even stole money from his company. And he got arrested. Please, please help me. That has nothing to do with me, right? It was you who decided to get married to him, wasn't it? Because you told me that Georgia Kuhn is rich. I was talking about George, who lives in the US. It seems Urara misunderstood after all. I was not talking about Joji, but George, who taught us how to run a business. I had explained it to her many times, but she had been blinded by money and didn't properly listen to what I was saying. Well then, it is what it is, so make sure to support Joji-kun well, okay? Wait a minute, I didn't sign up for this! Then introduce me to joji san I never thought that Urara was this bad. She's a real gold digger. No, I can't. George loves his wife, and his kids. Even if that weren't the case, I don't think he would go out with people like you, who only sees people for their money. How rude! If you had been rich to begin with, this wouldn't even have happened. Now, that's enough. Huh? You think you can say whatever you want, huh? Masanari is mine now. You betrayed him, but now you want to get back together with him? Well, it's too late for that. And stop stalking him. Huh? Who the heck are you? Don't call him anymore. Oh, um... Anyway, I already have someone named Fujisan. Well then, bye. A mutual friend told me that after I was fired, the quality of the brand totally dropped and the sales decreased as well. The sales from the stores were not looking good at all and it seems to continue that way. And the second store that was originally planned to open went all down the drain. In the midst of all that, Joji-kun, the CEO, was arrested for embezzlement and all the employees resigned at once. The company was no longer in a position to continue, and soon went bankrupt. And as for Urara... I can't stand living like this anymore. Where are you going? You're not going to leave us, are you? <laughs> when she tried to leave after Joji-kun got arrested, she was caught by her in-laws, and she was forced to work to pay off the debts. That's what they deserve, right? <laughs> 
Anyways, thank you for that time. You really helped me out. By the way, what did you mean when you said, Masanari is mine? Th that's I'll tell you when I have more time with my love life. D does that mean... Yes, it means that. Oh, I just came up with a great design idea. What a coincidence. Me too. We have a great chemistry, don't we? <laughs> yes, I agree. Maybe what we have right now is the best for now. Yeah, you're right. Well, I won't lose this time as well. Me too. I guess we're genuine designers after all. For now, we're fine with our relationship as it is. For now. And it won't be long. Until our story begins, after our designs will be presented under the theme of love. The idea of only thinking about yourself is a terrible and dangerous thing that distorts and makes humanity fragile. I want to be that person who can put him or herself in the other person's shoes at any time and do his or her best. Thank you for watching until the end. If you'd like to see more of our channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button.